yeah, I just want to update my life. Uh, yesterday I had a ne really nice cheat meal. Um, I had over 600 grams of carbohydrates, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling really really good. Um, so right now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I'm gonna go and take a shower. Well, not really. We're gonna go ahead and wash our face, and today we're gonna do an arm day. So we're gonna do biceps, triceps, and we're gonna do a three or four mile run outside. Um, I'm feeling really, really good as far as my physique goes. I've lost, I'm losing the pounds constantly. But today, yesterday I had a really good cheat meal, and today I'm feeling really good. I'm already pumped, and I'm um, just ready to go ahead and, 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 and get an arms day done today. So what are we, we going to go ahead and do? I'm going to go ahead and wash my face, clean my face a little bit, clean my body, uh, put my shoes on, take a pre-workout, and go straight to the gym, get my arms done go do a two or three far mile run aside and then come back and, and, and go by my day but i want to update you guys um again it's early morning i did wake up at six o'clock i needed that sleep today is saturday um all we're gonna do no work we're just gonna study focus on ourselves and film for you guys all right well thank you for watching this video All right, guys, so we can go ahead and put our shoes on and uh, go prepare our pre-work. Uh, you know, I'm contacting, I'm talking to a couple suppliers uh, for my clothing brand. We're going to go ahead and make sure those suppliers are really good, reliable suppliers. So I was checking for their reviews. Um, also, we're talking about the designs and uh, there's certain designs that I want to make for my clothing brand. Um, you know, such as long sleeve, uh, some girls designs and also some other different types of sh gym uh, shirts for, for, for men as well. I'll keep you guys informed. But um, yeah, if you guys purchased a, a piece of uh, our clothing brand, uh, make sure you reach out to me on Instagram so I can go ahead and post it on the Visions and Missions official uh, Instagram page and I can give you a shout out and give you a post. Uh, but I want to thank you guys uh, so much for uh, supporting my channel and supporting my uh, supporting our clothing brand. Um, these are all different amino acids that I take for my pre-workouts. Again, if you want to order one of these uh, supplements, it's by bulksupplement.com. I've been trying different, uh, I've been trying uh, my own pre-workout where I mix my own ingredients. Why? Um, I realized when it comes to a pre-workout, you have to take two or two and a half scoops to fill the pump. But instead, you know, I focused on ordering a certain amino acids that helps with muscle pump and, and pushing the blood into that particular muscle. So I went ahead and bought a citrulline malate, which is an ingredient in any pre-workout that helps with increasing intense health rate. It's a really, really, really good amino acid that helps with pumping. Uh, this is probably going to be my last time trying this product. I still got like three scoops. We're going to keep it. Um, for example, I'll go ahead and take, let's say, C4. Um, but today I've been I've been I've been on lit lately. You know, gym essentials. If you guys want to go ahead and take a look at lit, you want to give it a try. You want to feel know how it feels. Go ahead and buy one of those. I'm gonna put the big tub, the small tub, so you have options to pick from. Nine. Let's go ahead and zero out the scale. I'm gonna put one gram in there. Uh, three grams, two grams. One. Yep. Two. One. One. Two. Okay. So that's close enough. I need at least three grams to feel the effect of the skin tearing feeling. Um, everyone takes beta alanine. I love. It. I, I used to take beta alanine by itself. That was probably the the first. Um, that was probably the first amino acids that I've tried. That was the first part that I tried when it came to a pre-workout. I never liked pre-workout. I was like, oh man, that's gonna affect the heart. And it does. If you have low blood pressure, if you have blood pressure, if you have had um, you know high blood pressure, if you you have any heart problems, it actually affects your heart. But Thankfully, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy in that area, but uh, my blood pressure are prone to be on the high side. I think it's just genetics and personality wise, but free workouts, my three types of amino acids, we're gonna go ahead and put some water in there. Uh, we're gonna drink it and go straight to the gym and do arms today. Okay, so, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it in there. See that? Up like this, and then, Done. Give it a little shaky, shaky. All 
All right, guys, so we're back again. Look, so again, continue with our, our, our way how you can be able to maintain your muscle frame, maintain your six pack, but first, you have to focus on getting the enough calories. You have to focus on increasing your muscle mass, decreasing your calories in a way you're losing fat, but also maintaining your uh, uh, muscle tissue. You want to look bigger, not scrawny. You want to be bigger with full muscle, with six pack, but not feeling that you're flat. And how you do this, you increase in your protein intake, lower your carbs, not too much, not over, you just a little bit, slightly bit. Why? Because you want to force your body to burn its own fats everywhere and in a way where you're losing the weight, but you're not starving. First exercise, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with the dumbbell. We're gonna go ahead and do. Doing um, arms day. So we gotta focus on muscle under tension. So we're gonna keep a rest only one minute. Nothing less, nothing more, okay? From the first set, we're gonna get between 12 and 15 repetition, all right? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. 15 reps, focus on stretch and squeeze, okay? because we want a weight that is heavier. Heavy enough to do 10 to 15 reps, but not too light where you just burning the muscle, right? I mean, try, don't get me wrong, that works at the end of the workout when you already did the heavier weight, but in the beginning you want something heavier. For me, heavy is between 10 and 12. That's what heavy for me is. Okay. 10 to 12 repetition, if I can do more than 12, the weight is too light. If I can fatigue between 10, 12, and possibly 13, that is a weight that I want to do for the rest five or six uh, sets. One. I love it, come on. 10, perfect. 10. Push, 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 push. 11. 11. Push, 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 push. Perfect. That is a perfect weight. So we're going to take a minute. Since I'm doing arms, there are smaller muscles. So that means take less rest. If I was doing legs, I would take maybe a minute and a half. It depends. It depends. If I'm going for hypertrophy and trying to get blood flow, trying to go for muscle hypertrophy and bunching of blood, uh, as much blood into the particular muscle, then I tell you what, I am gonna go ahead and perform this exercise without trying to count. Why? Because I already know that I'm gonna fatigue in that rep range and that was perfect weight for me, so now I'm gonna put all my focus on the muscle mind connection. No counting, because when you count, your focus kind of shifts between counting and trying to focus on position. I'm gonna not focus on counting, I'm gonna focus only on stretch and squeeze. Let's go ahead and do it. Breathing is very important as well. Okay. What range did I fatigue in? I'm not really sure, but I know I probably did between 10 and 12, and that's all that matters. I've completely fatigued, completely fatigued between the 10th and 12th, and that's all I care about. Whew, feels good, okay. 30, three more sets, and we're gonna go ahead and jump on the triceps work, okay. We're gonna make sure that when you take oxygen in, you're pretty much giving an oxygen. You're, 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 it's like nitrous when you're driving a fucking fast car and you're trying to go a little fucking faster, that's the nitrous going through your body. Oxygen is the same way. Okay, push. All right, so the first exercise, we went into biceps, then we did triceps, now we're gonna go back to biceps. We're gonna do some of that. Now we're gonna do 12 to 15, so pick your weight. We're gonna pick weights, we're gonna probably do the 20, and we're gonna go ahead and focus on the stretch and squeeze. One, one. The fucking bullshit. Stick to what works. I did more than 15, what does that mean? The weight is fucking light, go higher. 
<coughs> Let's go one minute is done. Fuck one minute. Grab the 35s and go. One, two, three, four, five. It's a good arm day. It's been a while since I did an arm day by itself. That's probably from senior year of college. I've been doing push pull legs. That means I do a biceps up back. I do triceps with, uh, with trust. But guess what? Today is just a whole day for arms and I fucking love it. I feel amazing. My arms are pumped and stay. Two, three, four, five, four. But I promise you right now, everything pays off when you're in the pain phase. Everything pays off when you're in the struggle phase. I promise you right now, nothing's easy in life. If it was easy, everyone will fucking be whatever the fuck I want to be, right? If it's hard, it will make you a better person. All right, you know, my arms are really good muscles. They're, uh, they respond with high repetition. So I don't really do much, but I mean, it's, you know, once in a while, you shock them, you bring the muscle, you bring the blood. And so hey, now we're back into the castle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put two eggs, honey mustard, and add in some garlic. Nice, nice omelets, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and shred some of the And we're gonna add in about the rest of this black beans. So we got 100 grams of black beans, we got two whole eggs and so right, We're gonna run the stove to... So here's some water. Boom, right here. And uh, while I'm eating, so I got protein shake, protein, some uh, some carbohydrates. I have two eggs. Um, for a pre-workout, I like to take this creatine by a neutral bell. So five grams of creatine. 